something that has come up over the past few years with the rise of soccer cards and just from the fact that there's been a lot of changes that have come to soccer cards is actually something that I haven't really heard talked about and actually a question that I have for for everybody out there is should soccer cards have the RC logo like the rookie card logo now the rookie card logo I think is defined in a bunch of different ways like there are specifics in the MLB and you know you'll see it in like basketball and with football you'll see kind of specifics of when cards do get the RC logo and when they don't but like with a sport like baseball and what Topps has done they sort of have they sort of have change the rules as they come and as they as a new player maybe comes through they've changed sort of what when they get their card this is actually stemming from the fact that panini just released an immaculate product and that immaculate product actually has rookie card logos for erling halan mason greenwood and i believe that As anasu fati also have rookie card logos so or have have rookie card logos on their cards now Greenwell had rookies from last year and actually got one of his first cards in a top set in 2020 that was part of a Europa um, Europa League set. Erling Halan, you may know that he all throughout 2020 had cards released by Tops and had cards that were uh, didn't have the RC logo and actually the only card that like I talked about this on a previous. Uh, a previous video last week, I think, and on the podcast last week, I talked about how Erling Halan, he has a bunch of different cards that are from a lot of different base sets, and I kind of broke down the base sets uh, and which card I think is probably going to be his most important. He actually only has the rookie card logo on the top Sapphire set, which, you know, I'm not 100% sure why they chose to do it that way. I think, I guess it must just be that they they knew they wanted to use the rookie card logo at, at some point in a product this year and the fact that they knew they were coming out with this top sapphire and maybe they hadn't printed the product yet like i think if they hadn't printed the tops champions league product that they probably would have included the rookie card logo in that one but if i had to guess they probably already had about half of it produced because if you remember that product actually was pushed back a bunch of times so the release date changed like on multiple occasions like i think the original release date was supposed to be in like july um and now we're seeing rising of these prices so we're seeing like if you go to any of the big card distributor websites uh you'll see that tops champions league and then even the premier league epl uh prism product has also gone up and i think that is because there may be a greenwell card in the in the in the premier league prism set that's going to have the rc logo because if you go back the chronicles product which is a 2019 2020 product had the had a chronicle had a um contenders card a greenwell card with a rookie card logo on it same with fati and i think that i don't know it's it's to me i think there's so many opportunities and i think that soccer and baseball are very similar in that sense when it comes to prospecting and cards of younger players and like the companies kind of getting to choose when the rookie card comes out so you know because tops debuted their new rookie card logo which actually they didn't even do any type of rollout for which i thought was kind of interesting because it felt like a pretty big deal that tops was like coming back with this logo they didn't really do much rollout like they didn't do much of an announcement like i feel like it should have been like a month or two like they kind of just like released a card with the logo like the greenwell card um just had the logo and they had in the past i think uh, May, uh marcus rashford and kevin de bruyne they both had tops cards i think it was a stadium club and then tops gold back in the day those cards did have the rookie card logo on them they it, this is a new logo so if you go back and look at those cards those were an old logo but then also an interesting thing that tops did was they in the mls set see that there's there's so many different layers to this and I, it's kind of hard to decipher what Topps's plan was or even if they had a plan but there was a um there was a pitch prodigies insert in the Topps mls set and that had the old rookie card logo so that makes me almost think that they printed that set a while back and they were going to include the rookie card logo and then they realized that they wanted to include it in the new products that were coming out and 
that they didn't really have a plan for how they were going to roll out this new logo. Like I said, they didn't really release any type of super huge marketing, which I think it should be a big deal. Um, but like last year also just debuting the debuting the rookie card logo, like the first Panini Prism set uh, that Panini had come out with the rookie card logo was the EPL set from 2019, 2020, which I think released, if I'm not mistaken, I think that released in September or November of 2019. Uh, that product had their, their rookie card logo, which for Panini, I think it's interesting because they have a universal rookie card logo going across most of their, most of their products where Topps doesn't really have that. Tops has an MLB rookie logo. They also have the licensing for UFC, so they have a UFC rookie logo. They also have the licensing for uh, WWE, so they have a WWE one, and now they have the soccer one. And I think in the next few years, we're probably going to see a universal, at least I hope they do. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure if they'll do this or not, but I, from my perspective, I think they should just because I think it would be... Um, I think it would be better just to have a universal logo across all of their cards that are rookies. Uh, but so... I think it would be cool for Topps to come out with the Universal logo. But I think in the past, Topps has kind of shown that they're going to determine, um, like they do have guidelines. They, like for example, like the Jordan Alvarez card from 20, 2020, 2020 Series 1, had the rookie card logo, even though he was the 2019 Rookie of the Year. Now, from what I've seen, so Examine Baseball, somebody that I follow on Twitter and TikTok, all these places, and he wrote an article for Forbes kind of breaking that down a little bit. And the article that he wrote essentially was saying that there was a deadline in 2019 that said if you play, if you made your debut on X date, you got a rookie card logo. And then Jordan Alvarez came the day after because I think he, he there was a Cardinals player. I forget the name of the Cardinals player, but he made his debut on May something. And then he was included in Topps Update where... Uh, Alvarez made his debut the day after, and he wasn't included into until Series One. And I think they did something similar with, um, I think they did something similar with Chris Bryant. I'm pretty sure, uh, where he made his debut one year and then he didn't get a card till the next year. So, you know, I think there are rules. Like I know you have to make your debut before you can get a card, because that's also the reason why, like. Bo Bichette was very similar. He made his debut in 2019, didn't get a card until 2020. But I'm I'm getting off the rails here. I think baseball and soccer are very similar when it's going to come to prospecting because because of the way that they're structured. Now, I don't know if we're going to get like a like a youth team product from Topps or Panini. I think that would be kind of interesting, like almost like a Bowman youth team. And I think we have seen sort of a – we saw a Bowman product within the MLS. So I think that opens the doors for Topps to come out with some sort of Bowman product for either the um, – Champions League, or I, I, they don't have the licensing for the EPL, so they wouldn't be able to do EPL. But the one th other thing that I thought was kind of interesting was, speaking of licensing, uh, Panini's product came out in 2020. Now, I'm not sure why they really waited for this product, and I think one, but I do think one of the reasons potentially is because there was something with the Bundesliga license that maybe it expired in 2020 or maybe there was a lapse in uh, when Topps owned that because Topps owned the Bundesliga. So this is kind of how it breaks down in um, in soccer at least. So Topps owns the Bundesliga uh, exclusive licensing and then Panini owns the EPL exclusive licensing. And I think uh, going forward, we're probably going to see more of these leagues sign exclusive licensing deals with these card companies um, and I, I think it would be kind of crazy if Upper Deck got into the mix. I don't know if that's something they would want to do, do soccer. But with Goodwin Champions, I think that may be something that would be interesting. But the Tops own the Bundesliga exclusive licensing. Now, I think there is some sort of stipulation that if it's a Champions League product that either, the, either of the uh, companies can come out with a product because, like, like in Topps Chrome Champions League, there are Premier League teams. Like there are Pulisic cards, there are uh, Mo Salah cards, there are uh, other players that are in the in the Premier League that are in this Topps Champions League product. So I think there is some sort of stipulation that if it's a Champions League product, you can kind of come out with anything. But the Bundesliga, you hadn't really seen many Bundesliga cards in any any Premier or any excuse me any Panini. Uh, releases now this one obviously Erling Haaland is on Dortmund so that obviously changes that changes things a little bit and they 
they they included him as a Dortmund player in this. So I think it kind of gets into an interesting realm where, you know, I'm not sure. I think Panini owns the, like, World Cup uh, FIFA type of licensing there. So I think if we're seeing any type of world product, like an, a national team um, or a World Cup or a Euros product, that's going to come out through Panini. And I think that will be interesting to see how they treat the rookie card logos there. And this is kind of where I almost get into the point where the question comes, should there even be a rookie card logo in soccer? Because, you know, we've seen that these companies like Topps and Panini, they kind of use the rookie card logo as like freely and however they sort of want to. So I, I'm interested to see what other people have to say of whether they think there should be um, rookie card logos on these products. And then even going into like like the World Cup or the Euros, like are they going to include the rookie card logos on that? And how are they going to determine? Like are they going to say um, if – like I don't think um, Erling Haaland's national team – qualified for the world cup but i think they're going to be in euros i'm pretty sure like are they going to put a rookie card logo on that or like with mason greenwood like are they going to put a rookie card logo on that card the prism card uh because it's maybe their first world cup i don't know i think it's going to be interesting to see how panini and how tops kind of approach this in the future but that's kind of what has happened over the past few months when it comes to uh the rookie card logo and what's going on with soccer